Today, we're gonna be doing something a little different than usual. As you can see, I have a lot of shit laid out here on the table. We're gonna be camping in a very, very cool location. This might be a new series. I don't know, if you guys like it, we'll do it some more. I think we're gonna call it camping in unconventional places. So, take all this to the paddleboard real quick and let's get on the water to head to the campsite. So yeah, this is the first time I've actually loaded this small paddleboard up for a camping trip. Um, last time I did a camping trip was on the NRS board, which is a lot wider and a lot longer. So we're gonna go minimalistic style this time. Just brought one rod, gonna throw a jerk bait around. I uh, got some worms too. Just gonna see if we can't catch a fish for fish tacos tonight. About a mile paddle from the ramp, and we are here to the campsite. All right, that should do right there. More than enough room. Sick. Crazy how much you can see from up here. Look at all those big carp. There's even a couple of largemouth down there. Look at that guy. So sick. All right, now that we're up here, let's talk about sleeping arrangements. Um, this is my Ascend lightweight cot. This thing is pretty badass, and I'm very excited to use it. All right, you get the two side poles in, like that. And then you just get all these pieces, and they just clip together. Pretty simple. Then you just attach these. They have a nice little like pop into place deal here. So you hook it on one side, it on there and then you just push it up clip it on and then it goes into place just like that and then you go all the way down and yeah all right there we go we are all set up so the setup on this thing is um, I don't know it's not super easy probably takes about five minutes to put together but that's not too bad for how lightweight it is. This thing literally weighs nothing. Um, folds up in that little pack and it's a lot better than sleeping on the ground. So that's sweet. And then in here, I have my little tiny camp sleeping bag. This thing is pretty dope. Um, it's not supposed to get super cold tonight, but it is supposed to get down to 60. So that'll be nice. And the last piece to the sleeping kit is this little backpacking pillow. It's just inflatable and uh, we'll blow that up later tonight, but that's it. Okay. All right, I got this little nifty contraption from Root Co. It's a cool little brand that I found online. Got that case right there so I can not have to worry about dropping my phone in the water, which is pretty nice. All right, so you're probably wondering why I have a pair of tongs with me and a knife. Well, that is because we are actually looking for a cactus. Now, I've done some research. I've been wanting to try this for a minute and uh, we're actually gonna eat one of these for lunch. So what I've read is that cactuses do actually have a fruit, but the fruit isn't good until later into the fall. And right now it is May 2nd or 3rd, whatever day it is, it's May. So. Obviously the fruit is not gonna be an option right now, but 
you can actually eat these paddles. Uh, the Mexicans call them the nopales. And uh, yeah, you wanna look for these ones right here. This is like a new growth. This one won't be any good. It's super tough, has a bunch of spines. This one, the spines are pretty like fresh. So we're just gonna cut this off right here. Sweet, look at that. Um, the spines aren't crazy bad. There's a couple ants on here, but we'll just wash those off. That'll be fine. So let's go, uh, let's go prepare this thing. Cut the skin off. All those little guys right there. Um, the real dangerous part about this is those little, uh, the little micro thorns that the cactus has. Um, but if you just wash them in water, apparently it, they come out pretty good. If you just really, really shake it around in there, but. That looks like it's uh, coming off pretty good. So we'll just keep going like this and see how it turns out. I got all the little spines off. Um, went and washed off in the water real good and I think it's, I think it's good. I hope so. <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna dice it up long ways like this. There we go. Let's uh, get the cooker out. Pan in here. Start heating it up. We're gonna turn it on low. Got a little uh, olive oil, salt and pepper. We're just gonna kind of raw dog it. I just wanna taste the full flavor of the cactus. Get them in the oil there. All right, uh, they've been on there for a minute, so we're just gonna call that done. Boom. All right, cactus is done. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll be delicious, maybe it won't. I don't know, I've never tried this before, so let's, uh, let's go for it. Wow, I'm actually impressed. I was expecting to hate this. It's pretty good. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a fruity tasting vegetable. That's crazy. Cactus is pretty good. That's a, a definitely, I would definitely recommend. A little bit of a pain in the ass to clean, but the taste is there. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Whatever that is, it's pulling hard. Oh, gotta back the drag off. All right, you got a good fish on. Whew. Look at that drag running, look at that drag. Been fishing for a minute. This is what I've been looking for. Hopefully this is a big old striper because if it is, he will be fish tacos tonight. There he comes. Looks like he's coming up. Come on, buddy. Nope, oh, there he goes back down again. Come here, girl. Sorry, but you ate the wrong jerk bait today. Oh, I oh, hope oh, the hook didn't come out. Oh, let's jump down here. Get in here, girl. All right. Look at that. That's tacos. Whew, there we go. Man. Happy to see that. Well over 20 inches, which is the keeping size out here. So we're gonna cut her up, put her on some tacos tonight. All right, so one super important tip with these fish before you clean them is you go ahead and bleed them out. So basically you just take a big knife and you're gonna cut right here and just cut out. And basically that's their jugular of sorts. Um, once you cut that off, just kind of leave the fish in some shallow water and it will bleed out completely and then you won't have bloody meat. I got one side seasoned up. If you've been watching for a while, you know my favorite fish seasonings, Tony's and garlic salt. Can't beat it.
All right, we're getting there. Looking good. Golden crispy. All right, my lunchbox here. I got some cheese that I am praying is not totally melted. All right, looks good. <laughs> A little melted, but whatever. All right, get some tacos going here. Keeping it on the simple side here since I don't have access to a whole bunch of ingredients. So we're just going to go cheese, fish, and tortillas. And do the job just fine. Alright, not a bad dinner here on the cliff side. Look at that. Got some good clouds in the sky. Super nice temperature right now. That was a pretty great day. Got to eat a cactus for the first time. Cut a nice striper, but now it's time to relax a little bit, hang out. I'm gonna play my Game Boy for a bit and then go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning y'all. Today on the cliff side we have a couple of very crude breakfast sandwiches with the Fiesta blend cheese but I brought a couple of eggs and some bagels so that works and we're also drinking a little bit of Yerbe. This is the new flavor Yuzi line that just came out. Super delicious. This is my favorite way to get my caffeine in the morning. If you guys would like to try some Yerbe, Homeless15 at checkout will get you 15% off. Uh, ordering your bay with my code is a great way to support the channel. So, thank you guys so much. Well, I'm pretty happy with the way this camp turned out. Um, I really wanted to camp somewhere cool, like the side of this badass cliff, and we got it done. This little uh, cot is super impressive to me, and the sleeping bag and the pillow and everything. Um, yeah, now that I got this setup sort of dialed, I don't really think that I need much else, but we can start doing some more crazy camping videos like this. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything up, show you the full pack on the paddleboard one more time, and go ahead and end the video. Pack is complete. That is the board all loaded down right there. Let me get down here in the water. Okay, so in the front, I have my dry pack, which has a hoodie that I actually did not end up needing my light and all my electronics stuff like that got my tripod up at the front there in the back here I have the cooker and honestly out of all the stuff that could be minimized the cooker is probably like up there um, this is a little unnecessary they have those cool little backpacking camper cookers that are like little bitty so that's probably next on my list to minimize got my super bait bag which just has some fishing stuff in it and then in the back I just have my cot sleeping bag the lunchbox, the pan, and all my miscellaneous things like the cutting board and the seasoning and stuff. And my fishing rod goes in the holder back there. Yeah, that's the setup. <laughs> 